Neuschwanstein Castle near Füssen in southwest Bavaria, built by King Ludwig II of Bavaria. It's drawn over 50 million visitors since his death. No doubt Ludwig's Chinese palace would have been equally popular, but it exists only in 3D animation. The Twilight of the Gods exhibition shows the reclusive monarch as a man who retreated into fantasy but remained open to technical progress. Twilight of the Gods refers to the turn of the century, a period of upheaval, and Ludwig was one of the main protagonists, the representative of a society that became obsolete by the start of the 20th century. His fabled sleigh is said to be the first vehicle to have had electric lighting. The light bulb in the crown is now owned by Jean Schlimm. The art historian has been fascinated by the story of King Ludwig from a young age. He's often visited the memorial chapel at Lake Starnberg, where the king died. Ludwig, you could say, represents the idea of fantasy. He made his fantasies a reality and lived his dreams, and that's what people find fascinating about him. Jean Schlimm has lent several objects from his collection to the exhibition in Starnberg, for example, the king's last cigarettes. As well as this relic, a fragment of bone from Louis IX, King of France. The Bavarian monarch wanted to emulate the French kings. He modeled his heaven Chiemsee palace on Versailles. Like Louis XIV, Ludwig II believed he ruled by the grace of God. His family, the House of Wittelsbach, was one of Europe's most distinguished royal houses. Ludwig was raised to be a king. He had a very strict upbringing. His father gave him a list of virtues for each day, including not being ill-humoured, and the cardinal virtues of love, faith, hope, even frugality, which his father checked every day. When Ludwig was 18, his father died, and Ludwig suddenly became king. He soon embarked on a war with Prussia, but Ludwig was defeated and later forced to accept a German emperor above him. Ludwig retreated into a fantasy world where he could reign supreme. He never finished Neuschwanstein Castle. 3D animations in the exhibition show what Ludwig had planned. Falkenstein Castle was also never built. Ludwig planned to live here alone. The bedroom was to resemble a church. Ludwig was always searching for ways to perfect the illusion. He looked for a very special blue for his Venus Grotto at Linderhof Palace and commissioned research that eventually led to the BASF company inventing indigo blue. His boldest fantasy was the dream of flight. The actual technology of his design would have worked, but it became the pretext to declare him insane and depose him from the throne. He was 40 years old. Ludwig was a pioneer. Ludwig was a pioneer, and pioneers are always a bit controversial. If you also consider he was spending quite a bit of family money, which was starting to alarm his heirs, it makes sense they'd do whatever they could to make sure more money wouldn't get spent on something that didn't seem to make sense. Just three days after he was deposed and sent to nearby Berg Palace, the fairy tale king died here at Lake Starnberg on June the 13th, 1886, under circumstances that remain mysterious to this day.